interesting. This one here, I think, is a fav uh, personal favorite of mine. Uh, the one that's to Walters, it's a grease gun handle restrainer. Another one, I do a lot of work in Virginia, and a, sort of a good old boy, Carl Walters, called me, and his big problem was whenever he used those grease guns and those things that go like that, when you finish it, it opens up and a little loop of grease comes out, and he just hated that because he got his overalls messed up. And so he decided to make up a, a, a handle restraint. And I said, well, well Mr. Walters, that's, that's all well and good, but you know, it doesn't look much different than a, uh, than a dog collar. And um, but, you know, I'm just not sure that we can do it, but I haven't found anything like this. Let's give it a shot. And he said, same thing, I'm a gambler, let's try it. And if you see, all it is is a, it's a, like a little, little leather belt, and it's got three uh, snaps here, and you can snap it at various positions here. Uh, this is where you put the grease gun, and then when you're finished and the handle is close to the grease gun, you just close it over. That's it. We filed the patent application, sure enough, again, I'm kind of, I was kind of surprised because it's not a whole lot you can work with when you're talking about just a strip of leather and and three snaps. I mean, examiners kind of look at this and they chuckle because it doesn't look much different than, as I said, a dog collar or a belt. But we were able to get the patent uh, on it. And if you go into Carl Walter's website, you can buy one of these. And, and he's actually having a nice little tidy profit of uh, doing a little business on this. The other one, if you look at, the one that bought us, issued May 26th of this year. And those of you who are dog lovers, as am I, you may have seen this. I don't have the actual product, but it's a sweet potato uh, veggie rawhide thing. And um, he, um, David, um, what the heck is name? Baldus? David Baldus. Um, it goes under the name Frisian Fries and some other things. You can actually see them in Madden's Pet Store. And what it is is slices of sweet potato that he has dried and cured and put little ruffles in there, and dogs really love them. And he said, can we get a patent on this? And of course I said, I don't know, but we can try it, because basically it's nothing more than a piece of sliced potato that's been baked. And we'll see what we can do, and, and be sure enough that we can bring it back. Um, and, and in his case, he, he actually, before his patent issue, he was actually doing a well in the business. He's got a national business going on, and it's kind of an interesting guy. He, uh, moved out to California and decided he might have moved back to Wisconsin and now he's out of uh, uh, somewhere out of Milwaukee, I guess. But I think he's doing a pretty good business. So that kind of gives you an idea of patents. And the other thing is that these patents, it's not that I'm uh, uh, trying to state anything generally here, but the nice thing about them is they're fairly simple patents. And if you read them, first of all, you can get through them pretty quickly. And secondly, you can kind of get an idea of what goes into a patent. And I'll talk about that in a little bit. Anybody have any questions?